Hey, all right. It's time for Super Beard Bowl Season 3. It's the same, but different. You'll see what I mean. This month, you told us we could do whatever we want. So we decided to do Dirty Jobs. That's right. Just like the show, Dirty Jobs. Remember that show? Did anybody watch that show? Do you guys remember the show, Dirty Jobs? We have jobs. We're doing... Games that have jobs. J- games about jobs. You guys remember Dirty Micro? The next public vote begins Monday, June 13th. So be there. Or shut up and don't be there. I don't care. Why don't you watch Dirty Jobs? Nothing's changed. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're here. Welcome back. Another day, another job. You know what I'm saying? Another lobster, another. Shout out to all our uh, deep sea fishing uh, fans out there. There's one guy out there. Oh my God, that's me. The th- closest thing I know about is a man uh, in Iceland who works on a research vessel. Really? That washes beard bros? He watches a, a lot of stuff that I do. I don't know specifically if he watches Beard Bros, but contacts me and tells me he watches a lot of things. I know that he comes to CoxCon, so I assume he's like a Jesse guy. Mm. Uh, I think originally he was like a Dodgers mod, mm. but uh, he's like an Icelandic ocean researcher. Mm. That's the closest I got. Shout out to Arnar. Kind of make it through that little zipper right there. Got to sell off these lobsters, man. Arnar, like our one of our big patrons? Arnar Bjornsson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. This is uh, North Atlantic fishing. Tell you what, man. We appreciate you guys chilling with us here on this boat. I'm having a great time chilling on the boat. Ted was calling them lobbies earlier. Got some lobbies. He's gone. He's, Australia. He's, Brit- he's, he's full on Australia. I want to go catch some lobbies then. I think I hear the music. <laughs> kind of, yeah. How dare they play music that subtle and that calming? How dare they? They want me to chill the fuck out. I'm fading fast, man. If I put my hood on, like I don't know. I'm drifting through the harbor, dude. Let me do this. Hold on. You going down? Oh, he's getting soft. He's yeah, getting I'll comfy. See you later. I'm gonna evoke the spirit of Gerard real quick. He's getting comfy, dude. Oh. It's going deep. You know, Jar's probably asleep right now, too. Let me join him. Jar's probably asleep at work right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. Yeah, this shit sounds like the ambient music from Breath of the Wild right now. Right? I hope it's not like licensed, like Tony Hawk level OST, but I guess Ted could just pull like a uh, engine sound effect off the internet, mm. boat engine, and just play that. Pretty much all that's going on right now. That's what I did for Google Maps. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> Is that what you did? You put boat engine sound effects when we were doing the Google Maps? When you were when you were in the speedboat at what? the end of Seattle, yeah. Why'd you do that? Just like as a bit? Because we, we got in a speedboat. I gotcha. I gotcha. Mostly I played Sims theme music. That song is like one of the big, like, awesome songs of gaming right there it's it's almost like hype elevator music yeah it's weird i like i love it anyway i got eight lobsters probably most of them illegally fished gotta sell them off to the nova scotian lobsters lobster mongers i wonder how much you're gonna get for them because lobsters are exorbitant but for all i know at this step in the market be like, hey, lobsters, huh? Uh, I'll give you twenty dollars, twenty dollars for all of them. You know? Yeah, like I don't know, like is this place like silly with lobsters? Do I need a big contract? Yeah. To get that lobster dough, or is it like a bulk oh, thing? Oh, that sounds delicious. Lobster dough? Yeah. Like from those like uh, ch- uh, Cheddar Bay biscuits? Oh man, now we're talking. Cheddar Bay? Is that a place? Of course it is. The place I go in my head whenever I'm having a bad day. I found out that Cheddar's from a place called Cheddar the other day. Did you know that? Didn't know that. Cheddar's from Cheddar. 
Cheddar's from Cheddar, dude. Finkel is Einhorn. Finkel is Einhorn? Einhorn is Finkel. Cheddar's Cheddar. Finkel is Einhorn. Cheddar's from Cheddar. Schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Schnozberry? Who ever heard of a schnozberry? She said as she was licking wallpaper. <laughs> I am so close to Lobster Town over here. The anticipation is snoozing me. And I might almost get back out of the bay again to get back to the ocean by the yeah. time this episode is over. <clears throat> we this may is the actually life. sell lobsters. This is the life. If I was home right now, mm -hmm. I wish I bought this on my personal Steam instead of like the office Steam account. Really? You would spend time doing this? I love this. I do not. I myself do not. Do you think it might be because I'm from like a port town? No, Alex, I don't think that. You think I'm I'm fantasizing because my, my grandfather was a, was a fisherman? No, I don't think it has anything to do with that. You don't think so? I don't think so. You think it's because the other side of my family is from Slidell, Louisiana? Nope, I don't think so. Another ocean-adjacent place? You don't think it's in my butt, my blood? Your mouth! Your mouth has been discovered! Oh, I see it. Open your damn mouth. Okay, so I'm going to throttle down. Is there like a meter? Is there like something I can see my throttle? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Slow. I just figured it out, guys. We're almost there, baby. I didn't realize that it was going to actually reflect my, uh... My actual speed. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh-oh. Stop right there. We there? There you go. We in there? There you go. What? Oh, I want to, to anchor skip. No, I don't want to anchor skip. Hold on. What's going on? Am I done? Oh, go to the bar? Go to the bar in town? Okay. Oh, okay. Would you like to sell your catch? Yes. Yeah, dude. Sell catch. Oh, oh, undersized lobsters. I lost money on that. Oh, word? Fines. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Lobster. Oh, no, I did get money. Wait, price is 1039 a unit. Quantity 45. So the lobsters represent multitudes. Mm, I see. So it's not eight. Okay, I understand. 180 pounds of lobster. Net income. Expenses. Really? $4,000 worth of expenses? So I could have made like six G's, but I made two G's because I'm a fucking poacher. Right. Damn. It's still kind of worth it. You will incur a fine. Oh, it's after. Oh. Well, can I just not? Yeah. I have to. You're a poacher. Fuck. I have to. Sell it, damn you. Do it. Sell catch. Wait, I did. <laughs> Maybe they won't let you. Mm -hmm. Sell catch. Sell catch. And we just lost money. Just worked that time. Yeah, I guess I did. This is the end of the tutorial. When you get other boats with different fishing methods, a tutorial will be available the first time. Okay. All right. So, go to the bar? Yeah. Tips. Get the location of lobster from today. Free. Oh, okay, great. Lobster, okay. Just take it all, it's free. Yeah, why not? Missions? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Fast travel will be disabled. Help deliver cargo to another port. Should I do this for $50,000? This sounds like what you want, yeah. Deliver oh, supplies. We're already on the clock. Oh, shh. Oh. 12 days to get to Dennis Point. Okay, Dennis, let's go. 
Uh, is my anchor down? No. Okay, we got to find out where on the map Dennis Point is. That's true. Eventually, we will have to actually drive somewhere. Right, let's see where we're at. Dennis. Dennis Point. There. Okay, okay that's not that bad. That far. No, that's not that bad. For fifty thousand dollars. Be doing this in a day. I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> I can do both. I can fucking this look at video games and you know talk about them. Look as how I much fish. time! Look how much time you have. I can be doing. How do you guys at home know I'm not on a boat right now making money? In a way, we are on a boat. If called if, Earth. Yeah, if you think about I'm it, making money. And you can say that any time. Never be wrong. Dinner will never literally any time. <laughs> never be wrong. Pizza in the morning. Dinner in the evening. That's usually when you have dinner. That's the time of dinner. I don't know why we brought it up, cause dinner's when you have, you know, have that leave. <laughs> I don't know why we brought it up, cause dinner's at night. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows that dinner is at night. Everybody knows that dinner is at night. <laughs> I can't fast travel. That's the best part of this. You can't? No. I have oh. 12 days to get there. And here we go. I don't know how far this is. Is this like two million miles? Like, nah. like how far is that? Nah, it seems fine. like it's not. It seems like it's like four miles away. We're going to get that in five minutes. Like, see, here's the thing. I'm like totally happy with making $50,000 on one shift. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I feel like if I was really a lobster fisherman, like what I'd be doing is like losing money. I'd be like going out getting some lobsters and then going to Dennis Point. But like considering my track record for lobsters and the fact that I don't know the very we cannot tell. very basic uh, rules of catching lobsters. Mm. Switch on work lights. So switch on searchlight. Switch on interior lights. Oh. Hi. Go to front. Go to front. Stop driving. Go to front. Oh shit, dude. Can still drive or no? I can just be out here if I want. <laughs> you mean, did we make love? <laughs> like crash. I'd be Billy Zane in that movie. <laughs> Against me? Wait, who are you supposed to be? That's what I was going to ask you if I'm Jack or Rose. Neither. Little Diddy. About Jack and You're fucking Kathy Bates. Oh, the unsinkable Molly Brown. Yeah, I love that. Did you know that she was in several? Several? I've never heard of that. Like she was in several ship wrecks? ship sh ship shankers. At a certain point, you just got to stop going in the ocean, right? Like I would have. I was like that guy. Was that guy that got struck by lightning like nine times in his life? I can't even. At a certain point, you just got to admit that God kind of wants you dead, but is bad at it. Do you remember that clip of that guy? Of course I remember the clip of that guy getting struck by lightning twice in like a minute. That sent me <laughs> to space. <laughs> it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Just Google it. Guy gets struck by lightning twice. Twice. Oh, it's incredible. The 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 re I mean, we're giving it we're 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 what whatever the opposite of burying the lead is, we're doing that, but we're spoiling the joke. Yeah. But uh we're we're uh, putting that lead on a pedestal. Uh, but it is great. It's, I'm the best part of it water. is when he like, like the best part is the attitude he has. Understandably, after he oh, wakes up from getting shocked the first time, shit. which is like, what happened? Oh, I gotta get help or whatever. Yeah. Like, Immediately starts walking again. And then, oh man, <laughs> almost like God said. Get the fuck down. It's the same. It, yeah, it's the same way when you like smash a bug. Yeah, and then it starts to move, and like the I feel like the the attitude that you I don't know about you, but like I've had in the past before. It's been a while since I smashed a bug. Uh huh. But the attitude I had was like, how dare you? How dare you survive my like my, already my distasteful smite. violence? Yeah. My smite. My smite. My wrath. How dare? How dare you? We. Yeah. <laughs> You think you know? I'm I'm a hundred percent with you. That's what the lightning feels like, and I know I'm just I'm just projecting there, but all ahead full. I think we're in open ocean almost. Well, not quite, but 
We still have this other bay to get through. But I'm on the I'm on the I'm on the way. And don't you have like a Steam Deck or a Nimbimbo Smitch out here? I think this game actually is available on Nintendo Boom Smitch. What if you could find? What if you could get your Switch out and play North Atlantic Sam, North Atlantic Fisherman mm-hmm. in North Atlantic Fisherman? And then, then you, the only way to do it better would be for you to actually in real life get on a North Atlantic fish fishing boat and play the so, game within the game on your Switch. And then and then you zoom out and then you realize that you're just still playing Streamer Life Simulator. Oh no! How could this happen? I got like so long before I need to like touch the wheel. That's exactly what driving a boat is all about. Look at that. Just doing like the same kind of tricks as like a scraper bike. This looks like the Great Gatsby setting. East Egg or whatever it's called. You're not that far off. I mean, Nova Scotia, it's like just a little north of there, right? I don't know. I'm very bad at my Canadian geography. I'm bad at geography in general, uh, but Canadians, like, whenever I watch Jeopardy, and it's always, like, talking about a province of Canada, I have, like, a one in seven chance of getting it right. I'm always, I'm almost always dead wrong. I'm, like, fucking New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, fucking all of those dudes, and I'm, like, always wrong. I fucking love Canada, man. I'm, like, one of the, like, what, what's, like, the word for, like, a weeb of uh, Canada? Uh, Canada file. A mapey. Gross. A mapey. <laughs> Gross. Oh, uh, uh, a Hoosier loser. A Hoosier. Hoosier loser. A who me sure? A who me sure? A loon? A loony? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no. I was thinking of Tom Green when I think of the loon. Which is just as well because Tom Green actually is Canadian. Oh, man. This is vibes, dude. I can't believe you guys are watching this at all. This is the vibes, dude. <laughs> who doesn't want to watch this? That's the real question. Only only people who 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 don't know what's good for them. Yeah, that's me. I do not apparently I do not know what's good for me. Look at this. Look at this. The open sea. Very pretty. Call of the wild. I'm gonna admit it is pretty. Then you got two fucking nut bags screaming in your ear. Nut bags <laughs> about fucking what were we just talking about? Uh, everything, all stuff. Why we're people watch Tom us? Green and shit. Yeah, he was just on uh, Last One Laughing or whatever that show's called. Hmm. He was like the fucking executioner. He was awesome in that. How do I change? Did we figure out how I change the third person? Yeah, there it is. What do I need to do? Wait, well, I'm sorry. No Yankee. Our boat's been called No Yankee this whole time. I guess so. Bob Robertson or whatever his name is, that's his thing. Bob Johnson. He's no Yankee. He's Canadian. Fuck the Americans. Or it could be a 16 candle. That's reference? that's moving. But how do I Oh, that's moving on the left. How do I How do I change to the How do I get a How do I check my my messages? Hmm. You've received instructions on delivering cargo. PDA. 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 Fish prices, missions, loans, the history of fishing. Incredible. Of course, this information is in the general game. crew management, fish tips. I can't, I don't know how to check my messages. This is it, dude. This is what it's all about right here. This is what we want fishing. We're bonding, Brett. I'm trying to think of what <laughs> the best music would be if I were actually out here. Just like K Jazz. That's a thing, dude. 94 7, the that's wave. That's the thing, man. Like, I don't want to fall asleep at the wheel. Oh, you want like metal? Maybe. I was just listening to Huba Stank the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I never, I don't think I've ever like. Sat down and listened to a whole Huba Stank. Like song? No, definitely song, but like, I don't think I've ever listened to like one full Huba Stank record. 
Oh, I mean, I, I think most people have not. I just had one of their albums when I was growing up, and somehow I got on that on YouTube the other day. I was like, I'm going to listen to that whole album again. Sat there and did it. I'm like, yeah, I still like a lot of this. Ubastank was is like such a time. Like, it's such a mm-hmm. place. And I think most people got into them Call for rescue? after I was already out. Like, they got super popular with their second album when I, like, had not, well, I wasn't listening to them anymore. It's crazy. I always think of our pal Rachel. Rachel Ghoul? Rachel. Does she in the Hoobastank? She always had the party where she'd do the Hoobastank where you get the the whiskey drink and then a vodka drink. Right? That's Hoobastank? No. Chumbawamba? Chumbawamba. No, that's Chumbawamba. I get knocked down. I'm talking about Hoobastank. What is... Oh, interesting. First of all, let's let's figure this out. So when what would Rachel do with that fucking song exactly? I'm confused. You just, you just do the... You just, she would drink those drinks. That's like part of the party, yeah. She would drink the drinks. She had a party one time mm-hmm. that was literally that song was the point of the party. So that you could drink a whiskey drink and a vodka drink. And then a cider drink and whatever it is, yeah. And she was like, this is so much fun. She was like, this is the band Hoobastank. Definitely not the band Hoobastank. She'd say, Alex, don't forget. This <laughs> Regardless <laughs> of what anyone says. Ten years from now, someone's going to tell you. There's two weird bands. <laughs> There's Chumbawamba. There's two bands that don't know how to name themselves. Fair enough. Ubastank was crawling in the dark. Oh. Remember that? Oh, yeah. But yeah, honestly, yeah. what most people probably know them for is The Reason. Remember The Reason? And the reason is you. That's them. Yeah. 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 That's that new, that new with the U. New metal? Yeah. I think you'd be perfectly fair putting them in the new metal category. Yeah. They're like almost like emblematic of like how it's different from regular metal. Hmm. Interesting. Like, because they're definitely not. I would definitely not describe Hoobastank as a straight metal band to someone. No, but I think the other box you like would probably catch no flack for putting them into is just alternative. Like alt I think, K-rock. Yeah, all two thousands music. Alt rock. I think they're closest in style to like um, like like an Incubus. You know? Yeah. 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 Incubus is also very much mm-hmm. the emblem of mm-hmm. that time. Like the type I, of I, music that's that, the thing. I don't think well of alt rock maybe, but I think when you say new metal, I think there's at least five other bands that people would think of before either Hoopstank or Incubus. That's true, but I'll put it this like how about I how about I describe it like this? Okay. The the most dated parts of that sound like the things that place it firmly in the mid 2000s. Uh, uh, well, early 2000s. Yeah, like 03 to 07. Ooh, I think you're still late. And maybe and even then, you're yeah, still like late. even then yeah. tail end, like yeah. maybe like 98 yeah, to like 04. Yeah, like 98 to 04. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. Incubus, Hoobastank. Uh, I disagree. I think the the most I think you're Linkin you, Park is another one. Linkin Park, sure. They changed with the times. I think you want to go back to your uh, your corns and your uh, limp biscuits, man. Oh yeah, corn and limp biscuit. But they're almost like, I think hip hop is part of it. Hip hop is part of new metal. Yeah. Like, if you ask a lot of people like what defines new metal, it's like fucking drop detuning. Yeah. And like rap rock. And like really bad album art a lot of the time. Like, hey like, man, back off. Like really like back off. Like amateurish. Let's put it. Back off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a guy. Like like folder art. Album I art. mean, come on. Glam rock is like folder art, bro. Glam rock is like folder art if you could actually, actually could, if you could actually punk, draw. Punk rock is folder art. Punk rock, but the actual album art on punk rock usually is pretty yeah, good. Some, some sex pistols and shit, you know? Yeah, that's true. But that's that's pretty good art. Whatever. The point is this. I'm talking about like it's like a drawing when you can like see the pencil. Like, I don't know why Sometimes, that was, yeah. that, that was just like the vibe. I don't know. It, it was cool. It would look cool the at the time. The point is, new metal to me, like, if you told me Hoobastank and Incubus are new metal, I'd be like, yeah, sure, I get it. Yeah. I'll, 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 sure. But like, are they emblem, are they like uh, quintessential? I'd be like, nah, like new, quintessential new metal to me is like corn. Yeah. I don't think they're like the corn. fans of new metal's favorite new metal band by any stretch, but they're so, they're so dated to that time. Like that, their music just instantly... They're like the Beatles, like <laughs> the Rolling Stones, where you hear them and you're like, 60s. Mm. Linkin Park, especially. Corn, though, 
That's the thing with Linkin Park. I think they got more popular. They kept going after yeah. they, they. They really changed. Yeah, they went a lot more like I radio I sound. Can't believe we're still talking about this and playing this game. What do you mean? This is great. I can't believe this. this I is what I drink. wanted to do. I need a Dole Whip. I need a fucking. You want a Dole Whip? I want a Dole Whip to get through. Yeah, this. me too. <laughs> Ted in the back, fucking Donnie. Yeah, you fucking Donnie. <laughs> Shut up, Donnie! Shut the fuck up! Oh, but are you? No, we are, never mind. Walter? We, are, we already no. We're not even gonna talk. We already know. You, you, we know who's who. Are, we don't need, stop, though, stop! 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 Am I though? Really? We, yeah. Are yeah. you sure? Okay, between you and me, I think might have a different answer than how everybody else would answer that. Question. I'm a lot angrier than you, outwardly. People think of you as very like like yeah. It's okay. Hold on. Let's get into this. See what I'm saying? Because I really <laughs> don't. I hold get on, why on. people say that I am the dude, but I really people don't say that you are very chill. And yeah. I think compared to most people, you're absolutely right. On stage, <laughs> I'm chill. No, 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 no. I think in real life you are far chiller than a lot of other people out there. That's true. Is that really true? I, no, no, no. I'll agree to that. But I, I think see so, myself as neurotic. As but well. I think. Uh, oh, interesting. Interesting. That's pretty interesting. That being said. Yeah, people don't understand the anger that you have in you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think people get it a lot. Uh, so I'm look. I'm not gonna sit here and figure out who's who. That being said, I do think there might be something to the idea that our ideas of who's who in that scenario yeah. might be different than like the public's idea. Oh, one hundred on. Oh, you think it would be complete opposite? Are you Walter? No. Like, do I think you're like, Brett, what a Walter. No, 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 no. I'm asking, do you think that what we would ultimately come up with for who's who, it would be different from what the public in general would think is who's who? A hundred percent. Really? Yeah. Because there's a chance that it could be lined up perfectly. I think that everybody won't even think about it and will just say, you're, yes, okay, Alex you're. is the dude. Okay, fair enough. I'll agree to that. That being said, do you think after we sit and think about it then, the real question is... If they get to listen to us, talk about it, and then we right, all... Right, right, then, right. No, they will agree with us. Okay, I'm not talking about that. Yeah. I'm saying if you and me, privately or whatever... Yeah, 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 yeah. ...talked about this, you think we would end up with you being Walter? Between the two of us? Yeah. It depends on how we define Walter, but yeah. Fair I enough? Think, I think so. Wow, interesting. I'm not so... Conv I'm not saying I disagree. I'm saying I have no idea. Because at first I was I was there with the public. I'd be like, oh yeah, this is easy. But then you got me questioning, and like maybe we're not in those roles as easily as I thought we were. Like you're one of the few people uh -huh. who actually is more uh, what's the word? Not effervescent. What's the word that I'm thinking of? The fuck? The word where you don't care about nonchalant. It's kind of like nonchalant, but it's almost like. Uh, a devil may care. Uh, it's like ambivalent. You, you don't ambivalent. Care. No, you, that's a good one. It's it's. I'm, there's a very specific word that sounds like effervescent. You write like when like like uh, nonplussed. Hun like Hunter S. Thompson is this for like the conventions of writing. Mm. He flies in the face of them without a care for like their convention impor importance. Yeah, mm. it's it's something like. Esoteric or effervescent. Uh, it's, it's not, on the it's not one of, of the. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I don't give a shit about, like, tradition and shit. Is that what you're saying? You, yeah, like, how things are done does not impact Couldn't you. Couldn't care less. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. What is that word? And do you think that's a Walter thing? No, that's the, that's the dude. I see. I'm saying you you are more this than me. Mm. I am more about mm. the way things are done than you are. Mm. I will agree to that. You are more green and formal. We would have, like, put this in Magic the Gathering. You are more green and I am more black. Like yes, you are more. You give. You care more about tradition than, and I care more about uh, 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 pragmatism and yes. like whatever gets it done. Just get and it even done. less, and even less about pragmatism. Just like uh -huh. the way you do it is fine for you. Yeah, works for you. Yeah. Fascinating, fascinating. I'll agree with that. I don't know if that's Walter though, because remember he does not roll on shot. You know, that's what I'm. He does saying. not roll. He doesn't. Oh roll. yeah! Oh yeah! But you saying I'm the dude? I'm Walt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. Everybody just you just yeah, look yeah, at me. I, I just keep I'm into yeah. it. I keep, I keep slipping into it. Yeah, You're right. And I'm just trying to like fucking. Nice also, if we're just using like evidence from the movie, for example, like the dude goes in and he buys the store brand milk. He opens it in the store and drinks it, which admittedly I think is something that I would do before you would do it. Fair enough. But I don't think I think between the two of us, you would be the one buying the store brand milk over me. What would you be buying? Like 
special fucking some, almond milk? Some milk that I can, like, do something fancy with, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? I'll do fancy things. You're not, like, a frilly guy. You're like No, I'm not. No, you're just, you're just not that. You're not, like, the finer things guy. If you are in a situation <sighs> where somebody's like, hey, you want to try this good thing? I, I don't think you'd be like, no. That's for losers. But, right. But I think just... The idea that you would like the dude would go into a store and buy something foofy is like not true. Whereas with me, I'm. I like think that's f- where my ma- like to go back to the Magic of the Gathering c- comparison. I think that's where my black comes in. Like I don't mind foofy as long as it has a purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if it is a resource that I can take advantage of, like yeah. Right. But if I see no purpose to it, I'm like I don't. You know. Right. That being said, almond milk or whatever. I don't know. You never said almond milk. That's me putting that on you. No, I'm saying like I'm going to buy like the Brugere's milk. You know what I mean? And if you and here's the difference. I wouldn't. Right. Right. But if you, Alex, could explain to me like why and it made sense to me, I'm like, all right, let's get the fucking Brugere's. Yeah. Milk. You I, you know, all I have to do is give you one milkshake made with Brugere's milk and you would be all, all about it. But that you know what you would have to do is give me both. Yeah. You would have to give me the Brugere's milkshake that you had to like bl- and I had to blind taste test the yeah. bitch. You have to, I have to science it in order for me to support the Brugere's Like, milkshake. the fact that I own an Xbox Series X yeah. and a PS5 on a 4K TV the moment they're available because I want to be, like, high-tech and stuff like that, I feel like you're more like, it's good enough for me right now. I don't need this new thing. Like, I don't know. Mm. I feel like that's a very not... I mean, I don't know if that's Walter, but it's definitely, like, mm. a way that you're more like the dude than I am. Mm. Don't get me wrong. I love me some high tech toys. Me too, but but I am also the guy that's like like let me know the moment it has the game, the moment the console has the game that I really want to play and no one else has. That's when I'll get the console. Yeah, I'm the guy who's like try out this new thing. It's like and then you're like that looks dumb. That's not true. Like because it probably is dumb. That's wait what a I- minute. Hold on. I love trying new things. Yes, you do, but not. I tried a new thing today, but not like in the way that I'm saying. You're not like motivated by marketing as much as I am. Maybe, maybe not. You know what it is? I just don't have... Like, you're never like, try this kombucha. It's like, good. Everybody's drinking kombucha. You're saying I don't tell people to try the thing? Yeah, you're never like, uh-huh. this is awesome. Like, Okay, I'll tell you why. You want to know why or no? Yeah, I do. Uh, I just try not to give my opinion unless people ask. Yeah. That's I'm it. like opposite of that. I'm like, uh, you know, uh-huh. uh, what's uh-huh. what's the guy uh, Gladwell? Who? From what? Uh, turning, tipping points. Malcolm Gladwell, the like, got nothing. Like Sorry. Sociologist, he like, he says there's like different types of people that are needed to like spread an idea. He uses like mm. hush puppies, the shoes, like how they became a fad in the '90s as like a case study. Mm. He says it required people to like think that the hush puppies look good, mm. and also somebody who tells people they should try hush puppies because they're a good value, mm. and also like cool people that like. There's like different roles <sighs> of spreading information in society that cause things to get really popular that shit makes my skin crawl like that whole thing you just which is probably the difference between me and you but the thing you just described makes me go like he he was it's like the same it's the same prince it's the same book where he's talking about how like in like france or japan or something like that they like had like some street crime Mm. in the area really Mm. bad Mm. and they like something it was like they fixed the they like cleaned the windows of all the buildings and made it look nice and like the crime went down Uh and like it's just like it's all about factors outside of just like common sense that like cause things to happen. Okay. All right. Yeah. I am really having trouble seeing. We're almost there. You're having trouble seeing how you are the dude and I'm Walter. Is that what you're saying? I look, I get why people <laughs> think I'm the dude, but I don't think I'm the dude. I think you have a lot of qualities of the dude for sure. I think surface <clears throat> level, it's obvious why I'm the dude, but I like, if you actually know me, I think I'm really not like the dude that much. I think you definitely have some Walter for sure. I'm like so angry at society. Right. I'm definitely the most politically active person on Beard Bros. Ooh. Online. Ooh. Oh, online? online? Like like social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you that one. Online. I'll give you that one. <clears throat> like I'm always. I was like some, someone made this. I was at dinner uh, weeks ago and someone was like, we were in a conversation and, and this, this lady I know was like, I'm the most. I like I'm I'm the most liberal person at this table, and I was like, whoa, 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 <laughs> and that wasn't me trying to be like I'm the most liberal. Yeah, right, right, right. It was just a blindside of me with like we don't never we don't really usually mean the people at that table it's like don't that talk group, politics. We usually don't talk. So for that per- person to make that assumption, I was like, hold on, 
How do you know that? You know what I mean? And maybe yeah. she was right, but you know. For me, in the Walter conversation, it's much more just about me being outspoken. Right. Like on the internet, ranting against society. Yeah. Which I believe is pretty much. <laughs> this is what you get. This is what you get when you comment on someone yeah. negativity. And, yeah, and Gerard is the guy who's that car was not his car. <laughs> Gerard's the kid. Gerard's Larry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then Ted is going to have a heart attack. Sorry, Ted. That's okay, Ted. I mean, it's probably true. You're on the bowling team. You know what I feel like? I feel like Mona, Maud? Uh, uh, Ju- Julianne Moore? Yeah, that's what I feel like. That's what I feel like. That's what I wish I was. Uh, that's what I wish What it felt like to be in my house. Right. Is what it feels like to be in her house. <clears throat> that's what I feel like. Lebowski's wife. Did they get married? Lebowski. Lebowski's oh, Lebowski's daughter. Lebowski's daughter. daughter. Big daughter, Lebowski's daughter, daughter. 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 This is it. Guys. I just always forget that sometimes people aren't the age that they are currently. You know sure. what I mean? Sure. The movie was pretty old. Oh man, we've gone significantly over time. No, no, no. We we're doing this. I feel like we're almost there. We're doing. That being said, if it's going to be a thing where it's like you made it. Okay, here's your supplies. Now uh, have another 12 day trip over here. Like that shit. I'm gonna jump off the boat into the ocean. Uh, I'm gonna take my dude and I'm gonna get him eaten by some Canadian sharks. Cool. They jump in the water and they're like, oh, what's this a boot? <laughs> oh, what's this? Boot? They're like, oh, you're a mapey. What a <laughs> gross. What if this game hit you with, I have to make toilet? <laughs> what were, how do we, what were we what talking is about is that, earlier? Is that my body? Yes, that looks like shoulder. Oh. That's what something talk- you never want to hear in real life. What were we talking about? Is that my body? Is that my body? Uh, Donnie? We talking about? No, way earlier before all this shit started and it was making me laugh. And not for Whatever. Guys, sorry. What I if apologize. Goofy sang real low? What did you say? I'm the director. I'm the producer. I'm the director. I'm the producer. <laughs> You just jumped immediately to pulling out that car. That's how Mickey is. <laughs> you know Mickey's the second like that. The thing out of his mouth was, all right, first off, I'm in charge. <laughs> you know Mickey's, you know that's exactly why Mickey's the boss. Oh, my God. You know, that's how he got, you know, him and Kermit are both control freaks. Kermit? Kermit? He's like Cyclops, Kermit. but he's not Kermit. like Oh, here we go. Here we go. I was just thinking about this the other day in the shower. Which Muppet is which X-Man? No, no, but we will do that okay. on the next episode. <laughs> I was thinking about how, like, uh, I was having a conversation with, like, on one of my Twitch chats, like, fucking probably years ago. Mm-hmm. People were like, I just don't like Cyclops, which happens a lot. Dude. And they were like, ah. I was like just because he's a Boy Scout, I'm like, and so then I, I, I put myself in the, the other person's <sighs> shoes. Makes me no, so no, no. mad. I put myself yeah. in the other person's shoes. And I was like, okay, let me come from the perspective that he is a quote unquote Boy Scout. The first thing I want to do is define what a Boy Scout is. So then I looked at all of his behavior, right? Cyclops? Like, yeah, across all the fucking books, right? He's closer to Hitler than a Boy Scout. Wow. Uh, that's a statement. But I'll tell you this much. Like, I don't know what a boy, I don't know what that means. He's a Boy Scout. But I'm like, when is this motherfucker like been like, I don't know, uh, being saccharinely uh, obedient, I guess. That's what I think of with a Boy Scout. Yeah, like like it's not about the the job. It's and about the, the orders. He, and the answer is like, never? No, uh, like maybe like, 1965 like was a, the last time? He's like a piece of shit to he, everyone. He left his fucking wife. He cheats on his wife. He left all, his wife. Yeah. And, and he's back with her now, kind of. And He, he left his fucking yeah. wife and child. To go he's, hook up with his resurrected girlfriend. He's taken over. He's like tried to take over the world for the uh, mutants. Well, maybe one time. Maybe definitely maybe, at least maybe one, one time. time. Certainly maybe one, time. one time, and possibly more. Yeah, times. this dude's a fucking hard ass. So like, but like, like let, let's think about it. Most people Kills know Cyclops people. from like yeah. the animated series, right? Like that motherfucker in the first two powder episode, right? Like the pilot of the show. Yeah. That dude, like, you know, most people, they, they just automatically uh, relate to and identify with Wolverine. And of course, Wolverine's like, oh, the Sentinels got Morph and Beast. Let's go back and get him. But Cyclops pulled out his team because that's not because he's a Boy Scout. That's like everyone was going to die. He made the, like, not the, even like, the dark, tactical the decision. Dark choice. Yeah. Not even the tactical decision. That's just like, we were all going to die, you fucking doo-doo baby. Yeah. Maybe not you, because you have a metal skeleton and a healing factor. Well, let's put it out, let's put it out there, just because yeah. we're talking about it. Yeah. Uh, Boy Scouts are really good in the wilderness, <laughs> and they do good. They follow a leader, no matter who it is, even if they're uh, uh, 
evil villain, right. which happens more and more these days. Right. And uh, they do good for everyone, no matter if it's if it's the right if it's like the smart thing to do. They they break for all people. They help old ladies across the street. But that's the thing. Like, who does that sound like, like to you? I, like, wait, but before we like defame Wolverine, I'm not defaming him. <laughs> before what we mean, like destroy Wolverine his leg- as a boy, destroy scout. his legend. <laughs> But I'm just saying it's just weird, man, because people are like, oh, like I don't like Cyclops. And I'm like, then you really haven't read Cyclops. Yeah, you're really not reading since X-Men like very much. ever. Because once that's what I did in, when I was, in the movie. That's like, what I did in the shower. I was like, in the books, this motherfucker for like even before I was born was giving the finger to people. He's like Che Guevara more than kind he's of, like yeah. kind of like he quit the X Men when his wife died to go be sad. I'm like, makes sense to me. He's, right? he's disbanded the X Men more than. I, like five times, I think he's disbanded the X Men. This motherfucker, like, when mutants became a super endangered species, he was like, yes, "I will do whatever he lost it takes." All ethics. I will do whatever it takes to keep these people alive. He has no ethics at and all. And I'm not sitting here like I'm a huge Cyclops fan. I mean, I am. I am but like, as a literary like <laughs> device. I am, but like, uh, I wouldn't be just, friends with the man. Why, why did I even bring that up? It's just funny to me. I was just like, "Oh man, I don't like Cyclops," and I'm like, "Slow down." Why? And it's like because he's such a goody two shoes. I'm like, <laughs> "What have you been watching?" <laughs> What have you been watching? We were talking about that Kermit is the Cyclops of the X-Men. Ah, of the there it is. So that was going to bring up about Kermit. Kermit, he's a, uh, what is it called? Like someone who's. Frog. He's, thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I couldn't, for a second, I was like, he's like a. Granui. Amphibian. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, he like stuffs his emotions and he explodes. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, as opposed to. Oh, man, we were, com- we were talking about the, mo- oh, Mickey, right? I feel like Mickey is very forthcoming with emotions. I think that's the difference between Mickey and Kermit. Mickey has a lot of anxiety, and he just does he. Yeah, he'll be like, he's like, he's like always trying to like, like lead the group, and and like he gets uh, impatient fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Like he's like if Kermit just didn't check himself. Yeah, Kermit's constantly like I relate to Kermit because he's like okay, yeah. Like he's like you know holding it in. But then, but then Kermit will he's like you know what it is a cookie yeah. you know. <laughs> It's a cookie, cookie. Uh, I think, yeah, he's he's just like a tea kettle. Yeah, he's a tea kettle. Oh my god, we're almost there. This is, is it. <sighs> People are mad. People are gonna be so. <laughs> it's like you spent forty minutes on this. Mickey is more like Cyclops than Kermit is. <laughs> I don't know because once again like he stuffs those emotions and then is that something Cyclops doesn't do he doesn't deal with his emotions very well no he doesn't but he does deal with them nonetheless they come out yeah and in fucking inopportune ass times also he's got the same kind of like taste in women as Kermit Hi-ya! okay Oh, oh, the, the money is we got in. it. We're in. And next time on Beard that Bros. That was so anticlimactic. It really was. It didn't even tell me that I was done. It was like literally just go here. <sighs> wow. Fifth, could you imagine if all me and you had to do was argue for about 30 minutes and then 30 minutes later we were each like $25,000 richer? I would love that. That's if like only that's how YouTube worked. If it, only. It is if you uh, lose all your morals. Um, got them. Hey. Get them. We're out here in Point Denis, Nova Scotia, Canada. <gasps> Wait, it's not Point Dennis? I'm an idiot. Point Dennis? It, I mean, same thing. R- right. I get it. But in my head this whole time, I'm like, mm, Point Dennis. It could be. I'm not from Nova Scotia. I'm very dumb. Uh, we're out here. Thank you for uh, making so much money with us. I hope you enjoyed this show. We'll be back next week with another dirty job. It won't be this. I'll tell you that much. Another dirty job. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Don't, don't, don't believe in magic. Don't, don't, don't be so quick to walk away. Don't, don't, don't believe in magic. We gotta play the game. PlayStation all the time.